Hey, you guys. What's up? How are you? I'm good. You know my name. I'm Yamik. <laughs> so today I want to talk about it's not with my table and my camera stopped moving. Okay, well, that's not the one I, what I want to talk about. But um, I want to talk about spiritual awakening, the ascension process, or ascensioning slash spiritual awakening symptoms. But before I talk about the symptoms, I have to explain to you exactly what a spiritual awakening or a spiritual ascension is. So um, I'm going to describe that a little bit and then I'm going to get right into the symptoms. Is a lot of them, but it will go by really fast. So, all right, you guys, here we go. I'm ready now. <laughs> all right, so there are several different terms for ascension or spiritual awakening. Shifting or waking up are two of them. It's the act of rising to an important position or a higher level. Okay, so the act of rising to an important position or higher level. Spiritually, we are awakening and desiring to move towards our true purpose. Okay? Spiritual awakening involves opening the heart center. It's a process more closely associated with opening one's psychological One psychological and emotional growth of the soul. I had to stop for a second. Like, what did I write? My chicken scratch handwriting. There are several reasons why the spiritual awakening process happens. <laughs> Major life changes, tragedies, losses, death, health, marriage, divorces, and other milestones can attribute to a trigger, a new look on life. Whatever the case, spiritual awakenings occur when the soul is ready to undergo a process of transformation. And that occurs, and that occurs at different moments for everyone. Or it might not happen at all. Spiritual awakenings do not happen for everyone. Let me just put the cards down for a second for a second, my notes. Spiritual awakenings do not happen to everyone. Just like I said in my video yesterday, that everyone does not have a twin flame. Um so if you are vibrating at a lower level and you don't want to know want, you don't want to grow in your life, then most likely you won't have a spiritual awakening at all. Um, so let's go into some more. Oh wait, so so uh, more things that I wanted to point out is that there's no timeline of how long the spiritual awakening will last. A spiritual awakening will last your whole entire life. You're awakening your whole entire life. You're awakening to different methods and different ways of life and different ways of being and different ways to do things your whole entire life. There's no stopping. But the symptoms of spiritual awakening, those do stop after a while. So we're going to get into the symptoms of spiritual awakening after this or right now. All right, you guys. So after, oh, I was just rubbing my selenite and then just like shredded all over my leg. Okay, that's why. Here we go. I'm just like, what the hell was that? Um, and here it goes. Okay, he's shredding. Look at this. This is time to get a new one. Um, but, and I have a video about this too on my page. Um, Selena, I think I do. If not, you can Google it and see what it does. Um, but after a spiritual awakening period of spiritual growth, you might go through these, um, symptoms that you might feel like you have the flu you might feel itchy everywhere you might get rashes you might get headaches but let me just go into the list i have so i have a whole list i have look see this long list look at that that's a long list and it's like double so let me get into this list for you guys so you won't think you're going insane while you're going through your spiritual awakening or your ascension process. So here are some of the symptoms that you might be experiencing or you might experience in the future. Okay? Okay. So here we go. All right. So I'm going to try to read these off really fast because I have like a little story, of course, that I want to tell you guys about one of the symptoms I was having and how I was convinced that it was not an ascension symptom, that it was like an actual, like, <laughs> not a, I just thought it wasn't an ascension symptom, I thought it was like something else. So I'm going to get into that story a little later, but I am going to just go into 
some of these symptoms. So you might see, start seeing synchronicities more often, like 111, 222, 333, and so on. You might have an urge to move to a new location, somewhere new. You might have start you might start having more vivid dreams, okay? You might have your third eye opening, your third eye chakra opening. You might have strange aches and pains. You might be like health obsessed. You might start feeling like hot and cold sensations. You might have like high pitch ringing in your ears. You might start feeling tingly ting. <laughs> you might start feeling tingling in your um, third eye chakra right here. Um, you might start spending more time near water or out in um, nature. Um, you might have the urge to clear all junk from your house, to do spring cleaning, to give away material possessions, you know what I'm saying? You might start waking up at 3 a.m., 2.30 a.m., just weird hours in the morning, and not, be, not being able to go back to sleep, and not being able to explain why you can go back to sleep, and you've been, you were sleeping perfectly fine. Um... You might start eating more organic foods. You might turn vegan or vegetarian or pescatarian. You might stop eating red meat. Um, intuition increases, increased creativity, um, craving new foods, researching metaphysics, um, psychic abilities increase. I'm going to stop saying um. Pursuing writing and art and music. This is where I probably would say um. <laughs> increased empathic abilities, going into nature, feeling drained in crowded places. Um, DNA activation, newfound talent and hobbies, changing in diet, skin irritations. Well, let me stop here for my story. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we left off at skin irritations. We have like maybe like 10 more left. But before I tell you those last 10 um, symptoms, I want to tell you a little Yamik story time. Okay? And this is when I was going through my spiritual awakening and my the beginning of my twin flame journey at the same time. So I was going through a lot. You know what I mean? I was going through like... Okay? <laughs> so when I was going through my ascension spiritual awakening symptoms, I was itching all over my body. Like itching. Like I couldn't stop in the middle of the night. And it only happened in the middle of the night, which is why it led me to think I had bed bugs. So <laughs> I called a management company from my building... I had them sent over the bed bug company. The guy came in, he sprayed, he sprayed. He's like, I don't think you have bed bugs. I'm like, are you sure? Because <laughs> there's something going on. I'm itching, I'm scratching. But you know when you have bed bugs, they leave marks on your body. Like, you would see marks over my skin, like little bite marks. And I didn't have anything, and I still don't have anything. So it was like, okay, well, what is the problem? I'm like, and this is before I did any research about spiritual awakening. I didn't know anything. I was so green. I didn't know a thing. I didn't know about anything, okay? Anything about spiritual awakening. So um, I think I just started getting to watching tarot videos on YouTube at this time. And um, one of the ladies was mentioning spiritual awakening and symptoms. I was like, bingo. And I was like, let me look into that. <laughs> but not before I called the bed bug company to come, out my house, come back to my house like three or four times. They were like, Mr. Merchant. We're not coming back to your house. You do not have bed bugs. There's nothing wrong with your house. In fact, your apartment is really clean. So if you have bed bugs, that is really surprising. And um, yeah, weird. Not to mention, I changed my mattress. <laughs> I did all this stuff. Even though I needed a new mattress anyway. But I changed my mattress. And I was like, I'm still itchy. I'm still itchy. Like, what is this itching? And then I had to do more research and look into more signs and symptoms of a spiritual awakening and clearly the itching of the skin uncontrollable itching was one of the um symptoms as it goes skin irritations that's a little bit of a skin irritation you know what i'm saying so let me go into the rest of the symptoms that was my little story you guys okay so the rest of the symptoms are sudden mood swings Oof. lights flicker on and off when you're near oh i have an herb just now <laughs> sun gazing, which is one of my favorites. I love sun gazing. Oh my god, it's like so it's like almost as good as meditation. Sun gazing, going to the park and sit on the grass and just stare at the sun as long as you could. That's oh alright, let me move on, I'm sorry. <laughs> um interest in enlightenment, time oh, time and memory loss, feeling you have a mission, which I got that feeling too. Walking barefoot is good for grounding yourself as well. Pursuing what you love, um, extraterrestrial contact. Lost slash gain in appetite, 
new changes in relationships, um, new crystal collection, astral travel, um, post-life memories. Oh, I'm sorry, I just heard something. I was just like looking that way. Sorry, you guys. Um, so these are the symptoms for a spiritual awakening or ascension symptoms of a spiritual awakening. Um, I hope this helped you guys. I don't know if some of you guys are going through this, but obviously if you're drawn to this video and you're drawn to my page, you clearly are a spiritual person, you're a spiritual being, and you're going through a spiritual awakening, or you might be, or you might just have spiritual gifts. And my page gives you some sort of, you know, comfort. So I'm glad that I'm here for you guys, and thank you so much for watching my channel and watching this vlog. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and subscribe <laughs> as it helps my page grow. So don't, don't forget to like the comment button and write an actual, I mean, like, like the comment button. Like the like, press the like button, like the comment button. Yeah, like the comment button. Go ahead. Like the comment button. <laughs> press the like button and also um, subscribe to my channel if these videos resonate with you. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Yamik and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Oh, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Later.